Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Thypad2 here. I am back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys some awesome tips and tricks for your Apple iPad 2. So when you first get your iPad 2, of course, you're stuck of what some tips and tricks to do, so this will be the video for you. If you guys have any more video suggestions, please leave a comment below, and I'll be muchly appreciated. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so tip number one is investing in a protective case. Even though the iPad can do pretty much anything in the world, still it's not the most durable case. This is what happens when you do not have a case on. As you guys can tell, we are badly cracked on the edge here. Pretty much you can actually see the screen itself. And of course you have another bad crack here which leads to this whole thing. So um, you really do want to invest in a protective case to make sure you do not break your iPad or anything. You want to uh, get one for the screen and plus for the back. I do would say the most vulnerable part on the iPad has to be the bezel. As you can tell, the screen is actually very durable, which is pretty cool. And the aluminum is durable as well because it's built of a very solid material. So tip number one, if you get your new iPad, you definitely need a protective case. Alright guys, so for tip number two, we're going to be taking a look at 3G models, white or black, and pretty much the gigabyte storage. So when you walk into the app store, it's pretty much like you're a kid in a candy store. So many selections, iPads, iPhones, iPods, MacBooks, iMacs, and just all this stuff. Now when you want to select an iPad, first off you think, well I need 64 gig, I'm going to use it all up, and that is false. If you just want to use your iPad pretty much for everyday web browsing, for games and stuff, uh, definitely go with the 16 gig. It's very um, affordable and it's a great um, pretty much gigabyte storage to choose. Uh, if you want to bump it up a notch and get the 32 gig, if you know you're going to use this for a long time, about a year or two, and you're not going to upgrade to the iPad 3, and plus you want to do your normal web browsing and applications, then definitely get the 32. But uh, me, I pretty much got the 64 gig, so I know I'm going to use this for a couple of years. It's a great laptop. I use it mostly for education and gaming, YouTube, and just all that stuff. So if you know you're going to need it, definitely get it. If you don't know you're going to need it, just stick with the affordable um, gigabyte storage and pretty much the basic ones. Now to talk about the white or black, I think uh, both colors are very classy. I got the white one because it was pretty much new and it looked amazing in person. I think both look amazing and pretty much if you want, like if you are stuck between white or black, definitely choose the one that best suits your personality or best suits pretty much how it looks. And it doesn't have to be according to the looks, but it pretty much according to how you like it. And don't worry, both of them are fingerprint magnets, so you're not going to get away from that. And lastly, we're going to be talking about 3G models. Me, I only have the Wi-Fi model because even though I bring it everywhere I go, it's very expensive. It costs about $40 for Safari uh, web browsing each month plus your regular use. Uh, what I use is I use applications that don't need Wi-Fi or pretty much I um, bring Wi-Fi hotspots with me so pretty much don't have to spend money. So uh, if you know you're going to bring your iPad everywhere you go and you know you're going to need 3G, definitely get Verizon or AT&T. But if you do not not really sure about it, you just want to get it because everyone else uh, has it, then definitely get the regular Wi-Fi ones, very affordable, and plus you don't have to pay a monthly bill. So that is tip number two for our Tips and Tricks video. Alright guys, so our last uh, tip of this video is pretty much tip number three, and it's pretty much between the iPad and iPad 2. A lot of people ask me, should I upgrade, is it worth upgrading, which one should I get, and all this stuff. I think if you will use your iPad camera and if you like the fast speed and how thin it is, definitely get it. But if you don't like if you don't really know you're gonna use a camera and all this stuff, or if you don't think it's gonna be a big difference, definitely get the iPad. It's a great tablet, it's very similar and pretty much no differences at all. Um yeah, I do use my iPad 2 camera a lot. I use my brothers that's how I'm recording this video. And um like I said, if you know you're gonna use your camera, take pictures once in a while. Uh, don't get it, but if you're not going to use it constantly, definitely get it. It'll definitely come in handy. Uh, they're pretty good quality. Not the best in the world like the iPhone's camera, but they'll definitely do. Um, also, if you like the A5 chip, if you like the dual core processors, if you like the speed and the beautiful graphics in the gaming, definitely get it. But if the iPad graphics and speed uh, suffice what you're looking for, then definitely get the iPad. A lot of people ask me this question many times, and that's pretty much my opinion. I think they're both great tablets. Um, of course, the iPad 2 is faster, has a camera, it's thinner. And plus you have more selection, I do believe with it. So like I said, if you know you're not going to use a camera or the beautiful graphics or the fast speeds, definitely get the iPad. But if you know you're going to use it, definitely then get the iPad too. That is tip number three, and now let's go to our trick. Alright guys, so the only uh, pretty much trick I found in the iPad is pretty much customization. I can give more customization to your device. If you guys go into general and accessibility, you have so many options you can mess around with. You can mess around with the mono audio the excessive touch, the triple click home, you can do white on black which is a pretty cool little theme so you could trick your friends that you're jailbroken 
and it's just uh, many options. I mean, not that much as Android, but still you have a pretty decent amount of customization you could customize. Uh, pretty much you can also customize your name if you want to name your iPad, and pretty much you could uh, stay up to date with all your gigabyte storage to make sure you're not using that much. It's really awesome. Also, what I love is pretty much um, customizing my device with wallpapers. There's so many wallpapers to discover, and I just love my wallpapers. It gives you more customization. And pretty much just mess around with the settings, see what you find, if you find any awesome settings, to pretty much customize your device to your liking. So that's pretty much the only trick I found. It's not really big, but it's pretty awesome. And just to say, also, for you guys, this might be like a little tip. Um, if you love to play um, games, like if you want to play Infinity Blade 2, but they take a lot of your RAM, always delete the stuff in your multitasking bar. It definitely improves the speed and uh, definitely improves it from crashing. And it definitely helps, so once you clear all your multitasking bar, you'll be able to pretty much play the game without any interference and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this trick, and now to the end of the video. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for my iPad 2 tip and trick video. I just wanted to be talking about the colors, the gigabyte storage, 3G, and pretty much um, everything to know about the iPad 2. So thank you guys for watching.